What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay with the play back with another video. And today we're gonna talk about the new episode of Power that just had came out. All you know, y'all have saw this. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. All right, y'all, let's get it. First off, let's all give a shout out and a run of applause to your boy Brayden. Brayden stole the show last episode. He showed us that he's built for these streets and he showed us that he got what it takes to be in power. Brayden showed us that he's built for these streets. He practically stood on them corners like a real G and sold all them bags. He made Kane proud, even though Kane almost had cost him their life, but obviously his brother ain't built for these streets. So this episode starts off with Davis McLean and Dango and Cooper Sacks talking about how they gonna plot against Tyreek. Do y'all really think Tyreek might end up going to jail around season two probably? Cause he damn sure is gonna survive this first season. But how y'all think he might go in season two? Y'all might, could y'all actually picture Tyreek being in jail? He's not street, not hood, he's only book smart. But Tasha did teach him the game. Cause y'all think y'all think he could survive in prison? Yeah, y'all, it is true. Your boy Tupic is back. He's fresh out of jail, clean, fresh faded, all of that. What y'all think might go down now? Obviously, him and Tommy might link up together because he was the last surviving dude out of Tommy's organization that actually has still told he didn't snitch or he ain't dead. Now, Dre and Spinky had snitched, and y'all know both of them is dead. But that being said, obviously, they might link back up. He probably chilling with Tommy right now. So, as y'all can see in my previous videos that I hope y'all been watching, Kane does not like Tyreek for some dang on reason. He does not think that they really need him. Well, they do have the streets on lock by themselves, so they really don't even really need Tyreek, but Tyreek just in the family off the fact that, that he got to help out um Zeke. But that being said, he goes out looking for Tyreek, ends up coming inside Brayden's room and see Brayden and him and his brother fighting. Because he had confronted his brother, because y'all remember in the last episode, his brother did steal some of the product. So, with that being said, they had ended up telling Kane that he did steal the product. Now, Kane took them both on a little trip that same day to go ahead and make that money back off the product that they stole. All right, y'all, let's get real. Riley got to go. Riley got to get capped. She got to go. I hope she end up getting killed in this first season. But what I really think it's going to happen, I think this might be a whole nother Tommy and Holly type situation, how Ghost realized she was a problem, but Tommy didn't realize it. I think Tyreek will realize she's a problem, but Brayden not going to realize it. Now, watch how they redo that. And I hope Brayden, as he does, have to realize that she is a problem and uh, end up killing her. I hope she does die. Like, for real, she really got to go. She messing everything up. I feel like Brayden might find out that Sax is her uncle and whatnot but i feel like tyreek not gonna know because she was talking about him meeting the family and remember that now sax is her uncle sent to spy on him but watch how she ended up getting caught though so tyreek and riley stayed inside the room the entire episode just to wait for brayden to come home once they found out that he really was going tyreek barely was in this episode really but this episode did been good though proving us that brayden is built for these trees so she decided to stay inside the room until brayden get back home with his little trip but um kane he noticed that all the chess pieces was knocked off as soon as he had got home i'm glad that they actually kind of had did that because that is a good sign to let know when stuff is going down they was kind of smart for that though about the whole chess beat stuff but other than that what y'all think is next for riley riley needs to die but obviously because every character that we hate they make him stay alive obviously she's gonna stay alive but yeah who y'all think might be the one to come kill her though all right, so Monette now. Monette is starting to lose control over the kids as far as discipline-wise. They really not trying to listen to her like that. On the first couple episodes, they was, but now I don't know if she's pushing it too hard by taking any phones away and all that, but as you can see, she does put them in check. Don't Monette kind of remind y'all of a mom? Like, she really does play this part. Monette does kind of remind you of a mom in some type of way like she does really act like she's an uh, actual mom so other than that what y'all think might go for uh for monette she might put her foot down and start putting everybody in check y'all seen what happened with her and kane kane didn't mean to put his hands on her but although at the end of the day he ended up dead putting his hands on her kane was just in the moment kane's actually the smartest one kane is not afraid to say to monette what's on his mind about what's uh going on yeah he does not like tyree you already know he don't like tyree he doesn't really want tyree being involved he can't wait till his dad get out and he actually went to go visit his dad dad to go tell him like what's going on but his dad is always on his mom's side so he's like yeah you gotta listen to your mom or whatnot then just when kane thought everything was over his dad always gotta check up his leave lorenzo had actually had went ahead and had the ceos beat the mess out kane just to show you how much power lorenzo has somebody actually had sent me a comment and said who is lorenzo really just asked me about him and he also had sent me this comment which actually made my day i was just in the middle of making this video and he had sent me that other than that lorenzo is actually the husband 
husband of Monette, and he's actually the father of King Drew and Diana. For some dang on reason, he's just in jail living like a dang on G. He got the police guards working for him. He got other people working for him. He guess he got that one dude spying on Tasha. Tasha thinking she going crazy because she don't know who's spying on her. But for some reason, he just in there living like a dang on G. I would love to know the connection between Lorenzo and Ghost and Tommy. Lorenzo and Kanan, y'all see how they got on the same uniform? Now look at 2-bit uniform, and look at Ghost uniform, and look at Tommy uniform, and look at Tasha. I think that they are in two different prisons, and a lot of people be saying 2-bit might come out and uh, kill Lorenzo. Well, I mean, well, now 2-bit's out, so, but other than that, they have two different uniforms on, so I don't know if they're in the same jail, but they might be in different one. One might be state prison, one might, one might be county, I don't know, but they're in two different prisons. That's the thing that I'm thinking. Look at the uniform, you see how him and Kanan probably know each other. Kanan and him probably have, have him running. They might be cool with each other, but I would love to know the connection. Because obviously, Ghost and Tommy and them, they had New York on lock. And now we're seeing this dude look like he got a whole lot of power. So we would love to know the connection. So yeah, we all kind of still sit right here wondering when are we going to ever find out that, the connection. So now what y'all think will happen now, now that 2-Bit is out. So obviously him and Tommy is going to link up and start doing some dirt together. 2-Bit is a loyal dude. Now, he been in there that long without snitching on nobody. And now he's finally out. So, yeah, I wonder what's the first thing him and Tommy going to do. They might come after Tasha because Tasha did have snitch. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like and leave a comment because I will be answering y'all questions. All right, y'all. Peace.